Hey everyone, my name is Sudhar and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I've given my USMLE Step 1 exam and I've passed it. And you're watching the question solving series. And this is the gastroenterology section. Okay. So, an excess of which of the following hormones is most likely responsible for this patient's symptoms? Okay, so let's read the question. A 32-year-old woman comes to the office due to 6 months of persistent diarrhea. She has had 8 to 10 episodes a day of tea colored odorless watery stools despite uh, a lactose free diet and a fasting trial. Okay. Patient has no abdominal pain, fever, vomiting. Uh, temperature is uh, 36.7, which is normal. Abdominal examination is unremarkable. Uh, sampling of her gastric contents shows a total lack of gastric acid secretion. Somatostatin treatment uh, promptly relieves the symptoms. An excess of which of the following hormones is most likely responsible for this patient's symptoms? Okay, so they said that uh, somatostatin uh, treatment promptly relieves the sym symptoms. Somatostatin treatment is mainly uh, octreotide, which is an analog of somatostatin. So what it does, it decreases the secretion of uh, vasoactive intestinal peptide. And they've said that this person has uh, persistent diarrhea. Vasoactive intestinal peptide causes watery diarrhea and can also lead to hypokalemia and achlorhydria, which is also known as pancreatic cholera. Okay? So yeah, the answer for this one is uh, vasoactive intestinal peptide. And yeah, that's it.